Welcome back to the Universal Marketer's Guide, Naview Training Part 9. Today we're going to talk about pictures. And I know a lot of people don't have a picture altering uh, software. It's very difficult to understand. I'm trying to find something that I could give you guys that number one would be free and number two would be simple and easy for you to understand. So with that in mind, what I'd like you to do is go to Picasa. P-I-C-A-S-A, -A, Picasa. This is a Google program. It is free to use and it is fairly good. I, I really do enjoy using Picasa. Pop-up blocker, you may have to go ahead and authorize this download. I have a lot of people asking me what the difference between run and save is. This is the difference between run and save. If you were to save a program on your computer, it would actually physically put the program on your hard drive in your files where you could go back to it anytime you wanted to. Whereas run will deposit this program in a temporary file. Now that temporary file could be there for a while and you can always get back to it, but you're to run your cleanup program as described in the basic lesson plans of Universal Marketer's Guide, when we spoke about computer maintenance, it would erase all your temporary files. So that's the difference between run and save. Run is temporary. So now I've opened my Picasa and these are pictures of my daughter Shelby. What I wanted to do was show you how to check the size of your pictures as well as to shrink those pictures down to where you can actually host them on the internet. Uh, after we do this, we're going to do an exercise. We're going to walk through the MySpace program. You can upload your pictures to MySpace free of charge and use that URL to reflect back into a picture on your new view or into your web editor. My daughter Shelby, she's, uh, she's kind of laughing there. Now, if you will look right under here, you will see that this image is 2336 by 3504 pixels or 2.7 megabytes. That is an incredibly large file. Even if you do have the ability to upload large files onto your server, folks, remember people around the internet world don't always have high-speed high servers and that kind of thing. And so if it's a large file, it's going to take a long time to download, which is going to cause a couple of different things to happen. First of all, you're not going to get any referrals or other advertising done because people will be frustrated. Another thing that this will affect is if you were to be surfing the TEs and this kind of thing as we discussed. I was personally contacted by the Gladiator Hits TE manager and asked to check into a page and why it was running slowly. I found out why it was running slowly and I was able to correct it for him with no issue. So what we need to do is we want to isolate something in Shelby's picture here and shrink this picture down. So I'm going to do a headshot of my daughter Shelby here and we're going to put it on the internet. So the first thing we want to do is crop it. I always do a manual crop picture here and we're going to do a manual crop. And click apply. That's a pretty decent picture right there. Now, guys, even at this, even after we shrunk this picture down, we're still at 1,251 uh, by 916 pixels, which is still incredibly, incredibly big. Okay, so now we want to save this picture and reduce it down in size small enough to put on the Internet. So what we're going to do is go to File, go down to Export Picture to Folder, Export picture to folder or you can hit control shift and s Shelby one here when you see original size our original size is 12 by 51 and uh, 300 961 pixels that is way way too big for what we want to use what we need to do is drag this tab all the way to the left where this reads 320 pixels You can also enter in your pixels. We're going to go to 200 just to see how this works. Preserve image quality, automatic. Guys, you want to keep your image quality up. That's one of the things that Picasa 2 from Google is uh, most excellent about. Uh, intact, even when you're shrinking it down. So there you go. My computer's already completed that file. And as you can see, 
we now have a picture that is 200 by 154 at 31.4 kilobytes. This is important to remember because whatever this picture size is, let us go back over here, 200 by 154, in your new view, you're going to have to keep it at 200 by 154. When we go back to New View here, we're going to input uh, this image off the computer and see what it looks like. And I'm going to show you on New View uh, in the preview section what it would look like on the internet. Um, go to Image. Now, again, once it's hosted on the internet, all we have to do is put the address in this box right here. But since it's on our computer, we're going to have to go Choose File. And, okay, right there actual size 200 by 54 let's not use the alternate text so that's exactly the way the picture would appear on the internet here let's make the dimensions of this picture bigger this is why I'm cautioning you not to do because it will pixelate so if we're at 200 by 154 we want to make sure that the constrain tick box is checked I want you to change your width to 250 You'll note that the height also changed. That's because we double checked to make sure our constrained box was ticked. And this is in pixels. Now watch that picture. Look at that. Just a little bit of blow up and it looks really yucky now. Go back to dimensions and go actual size. Actual size of 200 by 154. So, I mean, let's go to MySpace. And at MySpace, I'm going to show you how to upload this picture. And so here you are in my MySpace back office. Uh, if you want to find my MySpace page, I'm Crazy Ass Gemini. In your back office, go to Photos, Upload. Photos, Upload upload photos and share with friends click here now you will see that myspace allows you to upload pictures five megabytes and below the picture that we edited was four megabytes so yes folks it will fit here have you ever surfed some pages on myspace and found them to be very slow and make your computer even stop working it's because of all these large files so we want to be a little more professional and business approach with it so that's why we shrunk our file down uh, so please do not be confused between what I'm telling you and what MySpace is telling you that you can do so let's go ahead and browse After the, you select the photos that you want to upload, you click Next. So when you guys come and check out my MySpace page, be sure to look for my photo album of UMG because that's where we'll put these photos and all the other ones that we do in the series. And you click Upload. And as you can see, they were very quick because they're very small files now. That's another thing. It saves you a lot of time. Click Next, click Done Editing. Now once you get to this point, right click your picture, right click your picture, and hit Properties. Properties. The address URL is what we're looking for. Copy. and go back to new view and as you can see I already started to play around with some uh, how I was going to show you the picture between being on my computer and on this side it's actually going to be on the internet and you'll see the difference uh, if any uh, go to image now we have an image location your myspace address URL you'll see the preview come up here and you'll notice it is exactly 200 by 154 Again, the image on the left is from my computer. The image from the right is actually from the internet, and they look very, very good. Well, that about does it for this series. If there's anything that anybody would like me to cover in particular, please go ahead and email me. 
Uh, again, I'm here to mentor you. And this is Wayne from the Universal Marketer's Guide saying, have blessings, everyone.